Welcome back to our channel. We hope you'll find valuable content here. If you enjoy our channel, please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Let's dive in. Have you ever wondered why certain communities, like the Jewish community, have been historically successful in the world of business? It's not just luck or coincidence. It's a combination of mindset, principles, and strategies that have been passed down through generations. In the vast world of commerce, businesses often find themselves at a crossroads, should they focus on selling a large volume of products at a low profit, or should they concentrate on selling fewer items but at a higher profit margin? Imagine selling a product for $1 profit a thousand times versus selling a product for $500 profit just twice. The Jewish business ethos often leans towards high profit, low volume sales, ensuring sustainability and reduced risk. This question isn't just a matter of numbers, it's a reflection of the business's core philosophy and long term vision. Today, we'll delve into three major business ideas from the Jewish community that can propel any business to greater heights. The myth of wealth distribution. In our interconnected world, Wealth distribution is a topic that often captures headlines and sparks debates. The idea that a small percentage of people control a significant portion of global wealth can be both fascinating and alarming. But how did this come to be? And what can we learn from communities, like the Jewish community, that have historically been successful in the realm of business and wealth accumulation? The Landscape of Global Wealth When we talk about wealth distribution, we're referring to the way in which wealth is spread among individuals or groups. Historically, resources were localized. Communities relied on their immediate surroundings for sustenance and trade. However, as societies evolved and global trade routes were established, wealth began to concentrate in specific regions and among certain groups. For instance, during the Age of Exploration, European nations that established colonies in various parts of the world began amassing wealth. They had access to resources from these colonies, which they could trade on the global market. This led to a concentration of wealth in Europe. The Role of Communities in Wealth Accumulation Different communities have different approaches to business, trade, and wealth accumulation. The Jewish community, for example, has a rich history of business acumen. Historically, Jews were often restricted from owning land in many parts of Europe. This led many to venture into trade, finance, and other businesses. Over time, this community developed a unique approach to business, emphasizing long-term gains, sustainability, and community support. The Modern Implications of Wealth Distribution In today's world, the concentration of wealth has implications on various fronts. Economic implications, wealth concentration can lead to economic disparities, where a small group has a significant influence on economic policies and decisions. Social implications, economic disparities can lead to social unrest, as those who feel left out may voice their concerns and frustrations. Opportunities for learning, while wealth concentration has its challenges, it also offers opportunities for learning. By studying communities and individuals who have successfully amassed wealth, we can glean insights into effective wealth-building strategies. Understanding the nuances of wealth distribution is crucial in today's globalized world. While there are challenges associated with wealth concentration, there are also lessons to be learned. By studying the strategies and mindsets of successful communities, we can equip ourselves with the knowledge to navigate the complex landscape of global wealth. The Jewish Approach to Wealth Building The Jewish community's approach to wealth building is rooted in a rich tapestry of history, tradition, and cultural values. This approach is not just about financial success, it's about a holistic view of prosperity that encompasses community, sustainability, and ethical considerations. Let's delve deeper into this unique perspective and uncover the principles that have guided this community's business endeavors for centuries. Historical Context Throughout history, the Jewish community has faced numerous challenges, from expulsions to restrictions on professions. These adversities, rather than hindering them, 
became catalysts for adaptability and resilience. Historically, Jews were often barred from owning land in many European regions, pushing many into roles as merchants, moneylenders, and traders. Over time, these roles evolved, and a distinct business ethos emerged. The Pillars of Jewish Business Wisdom Community and collaboration, at the heart of Jewish business wisdom is the idea of community. Businesses were not just individual endeavors, they were community projects. Families, neighbors, and community members often collaborated, pooling resources and sharing risks. This collective approach reduced individual risks and increased the chances of success. Ethical business practices, Jewish teachings emphasize ethical behavior in all aspects of life, including business. The Talmud, a central text in Jewish tradition, offers guidance on fair pricing, honest weights and measures, and the ethical treatment of workers. This emphasis on ethics ensures that business is conducted with integrity and fairness. Long-term vision, rather than seeking quick profits, the Jewish approach to business emphasizes sustainability and long-term growth. This perspective is rooted in the belief that true prosperity is not just about amassing wealth but ensuring that it benefits future generations. Adaptability and innovation, facing restrictions and challenges throughout history, the Jewish community learned the value of adaptability. They became adept at identifying opportunities in changing circumstances and were often at the forefront of innovative business practices. Applying the wisdom Understanding these principles is one thing, but applying them is where their true value lies. For modern businesses, these principles translate into Building strong networks and collaborations Prioritizing ethical considerations in business decisions Focusing on long-term strategies over short-term gains Being adaptable and open to innovation the Jewish approach to wealth building offers valuable lessons for anyone in the world of business. It's a testament to the idea that success is not just about financial gain but about building something sustainable, ethical, and beneficial for the broader community. By understanding and integrating these principles, businesses can navigate the complexities of the modern world with wisdom rooted in centuries of experience. Luxury Goods and the Rich the allure of luxury goods has captivated humanity for centuries. From the ornate jewelry of ancient monarchs to the designer handbags of today's celebrities, luxury items have always been symbols of status, wealth, and aspiration. But why are these goods so coveted, and why do they seem to be primarily designed for the rich? Let's explore the world of luxury and its deep connection with the wealthy elite. The Definition of Luxury at its core, a luxury good is not just about functionality, it's about exclusivity, craftsmanship, and the story behind the item. While a watch's primary function is to tell time, a luxury watch tells a story of heritage, precision, and artistry. It's this narrative, combined with limited availability, that sets luxury goods apart. The rich is trendsetters. Throughout history, the rich have always been trendsetters. Their choices in fashion, travel, and lifestyle often set the standard for the rest of society. This phenomenon isn't just about the rich wanting the best, it's about businesses recognizing the influence of the wealthy and designing products specifically for them. When a celebrity or a royal is seen wearing a particular brand or style, it immediately gains attention. This attention translates into aspiration, with many desiring to own a piece of that luxury, even if it's a more affordable version. The trickle-down effect. This phenomenon, where trends start with the rich and eventually make their way to the broader public, is often referred to as the trickle-down effect. High-end brands might release exclusive products with hefty price tags, but they also offer more accessible products that capture the essence of the brand. This strategy allows them to cater to the elite while also capitalizing on the aspirational desires of the broader market. The Business Perspective From a business standpoint, targeting the rich makes sense. The wealthy have the means to purchase high-ticket items, and their endorsement, even if implicit, can significantly boost a brand's image. Moreover, luxury goods often have higher profit margins, 
making them lucrative for businesses. The world of luxury goods is a fascinating interplay of exclusivity, aspiration, and business strategy. While these products are often associated with the rich, their influence permeates society at large, shaping trends and consumer desires. For businesses, understanding this dynamic is crucial, as it offers insights into consumer behavior and market opportunities. The Three Pillars of Jewish Business Wisdom The world of business is vast and varied, with countless strategies and approaches to success. However, some principles stand the test of time, offering insights that can guide businesses across generations and cultures. Among these enduring principles are the three pillars of Jewish business wisdom. In this chapter, we'll delve into the first of these pillars, the preference for high-profit, low-volume business. The Allure of High Volume On the surface, selling a product thousands of times might seem like the path to success. After all, High sales numbers often equate to business growth and market dominance. This approach, known as the high-volume, low-profit model, is prevalent in industries like fast fashion and consumer electronics. The idea is simple, sell a large quantity of products at a small profit margin, and the cumulative profit will be substantial. The Jewish Perspective, Sustainability over Quantity The Jewish business ethos offers a different perspective. Instead of chasing high sales numbers, the focus is on sustainability and reduced risk. This approach recognizes the inherent challenges of the high-volume model. Market saturation, selling a product in large quantities can quickly saturate the market, reducing demand over time. Operational challenges, managing high-volume sales requires significant logistical and operational support, from manufacturing to distribution. Thin profit margins, a small change in costs can erode the already thin profit margins, making the business vulnerable to external factors. The high-profit, low-volume approach By contrast, the high-profit, low-volume model prioritizes substantial profit margins over sheer sales numbers. This approach has several advantages. Sustainability, with higher profit margins, Businesses can weather economic downturns and market fluctuations more effectively. Exclusivity, offering products in limited quantities can create a sense of exclusivity, driving demand and allowing for premium pricing. Operational efficiency, managing lower sales volumes can lead to operational efficiencies, from reduced inventory costs to streamlined distribution. The diamond industry, a case study. Consider the diamond industry, where the stakes are high, and the profits can be substantial. A single diamond sale can yield thousands, if not millions, in profit. The industry's success isn't about selling countless diamonds, it's about selling diamonds that count. Each sale is significant, and the focus is on quality, craftsmanship, and the story behind each gem. The high-profit, low-volume approach to business offers a sustainable and efficient path to success. While it may not lead to headline-grabbing sales numbers, it ensures steady growth, reduced risk, and long-term viability. It's a testament to the Jewish community's emphasis on sustainability, quality, and the long game in the world of business. The Looking Up Consumption Mindset As humans, we're naturally aspirational. We often look up to those who have more, whether it's wealth, status, or success, and aspire to reach similar heights. This looking up mindset is not just a societal observation, it's a powerful driving force in the world of business and consumption. In this chapter, we'll explore the looking up consumption mindset and its implications for businesses. The Power of Aspiration From a young age, we're exposed to stories of success, tales of individuals who rose from humble beginnings to achieve greatness. These narratives shape our aspirations and fuel our desires to improve our circumstances. Whether it's the allure of luxury brands, the dream of owning a beautiful home, or the desire to travel the world, our aspirations often guide our consumption choices. The rich as role models. Historically, the rich have been trendsetters in society. Their choices in fashion, travel, and lifestyle set the standard for the rest of society. 
When a celebrity or influential figure endorses a product or adopts a particular style, it immediately gains attention and becomes a symbol of aspiration for many. Business Implications of the Looking Up Mindset For businesses, understanding and leveraging the looking up mindset can be a game changer. Here's why. Premium Positioning By targeting products and services to the rich, businesses can position their offerings as premium and aspirational. This positioning allows them to command higher prices and attract a broader audience that aspires to own or experience those products. Brand Loyalty When consumers aspire to a brand and finally achieve the means to purchase from it, they often develop a strong sense of loyalty. This loyalty can lead to repeat purchases and positive word-of-mouth marketing. Innovation and Differentiation Catering to the aspirational desires of consumers pushes businesses to innovate and differentiate their offerings. This drive for innovation can lead to unique products and services that stand out in the market. The Ripple Effect The choices of the rich create a ripple effect in society. When they adopt a particular trend, it trickles down to the masses, influencing their consumption choices. This trickle down effect is evident in various industries from fashion and technology to travel and dining. The looking up consumption mindset is a powerful force in the world of business. By understanding this mindset and its implications, businesses can craft strategies that resonate with consumers, drive brand loyalty, and achieve long-term success. Leveraging influence for business success. In the world of business, relationships matter. Building and nurturing connections with influential figures can open doors to opportunities, partnerships, and growth. This principle of leveraging influence is deeply rooted in the Jewish business ethos and has played a pivotal role in the community's economic successes over the centuries. In this chapter, we'll explore the importance of influence and how it can be harnessed for business success. The Power of Influence Influence is the ability to affect decisions, behaviors, and outcomes. It's not just about having a vast network, it's about having meaningful connections with individuals who hold sway in their respective domains. These influential figures can be industry leaders, policymakers, celebrities, or even community leaders. The Rothschild Family, a case in point. One of the most iconic examples of leveraging influence in the business world is the success of the Rothschild family. Originating from the Jewish ghettos of Frankfurt, the Rothschilds built a banking empire that spanned Europe. Their success wasn't solely due to their financial acumen, it was also a result of their strategic relationships with European royalty, nobility, and other influential figures. These relationships provided them with insights, opportunities, and protection, allowing their business to thrive in often turbulent times. Building and Nurturing Relationships Leveraging influence is not about opportunism, it's about genuine relationship building. Here are some key principles. Mutual Benefit Relationships should be mutually beneficial. It's not just about what you can gain from the connection but also about what you can offer in return. Trust and Integrity Trust is the foundation of any strong relationship. Maintaining integrity in all dealings ensures that trust is preserved and strengthened over time. Active engagement, building a relationship is just the beginning. It's essential to actively engage, nurture, and strengthen these connections over time. Implications for modern businesses In today's interconnected world, the importance of influence has only grown. For businesses, leveraging influence can Open doors to partnerships and collaborations Provide access to new markets and audiences Offer insights into industry trends and shifts Enhance brand credibility and trust Leveraging influence is a timeless principle that holds relevance in today's dynamic business landscape. By understanding the importance of relationships and actively nurturing them, Businesses can navigate challenges, seize opportunities, and achieve lasting success. Embracing the Jewish business mindset for modern success. Throughout this exploration, we've delved deep into the Jewish business ethos, 
uncovering principles that have guided the community to economic success over the centuries. These principles, while rooted in history, hold immense relevance for modern businesses. In this concluding chapter, we'll reflect on the overarching themes and discuss how individuals and businesses can embrace this mindset for contemporary success. A Holistic Approach to Business The Jewish business mindset is not just about profit, it's about a holistic approach to commerce. It intertwines ethics, community, sustainability, and long-term vision. This comprehensive perspective ensures that businesses don't just thrive financially but also contribute positively to society and the broader ecosystem. Adapting to the modern landscape While the principles remain timeless, their application must evolve to suit the modern business landscape. Here's how. Digital networking. In an age of social media and digital communication, building and nurturing relationships extends beyond physical interactions. Embracing digital platforms can help businesses expand their influence and reach. Ethical consumerism. Modern consumers are more informed and conscious of their choices. They prioritize businesses that align with their values. Upholding ethical practices is not just morally right, it's also good for business. Innovation and adaptability, the business world is dynamic. Embracing change, being open to innovation, and adapting to market shifts are crucial for sustained success. Lessons for entrepreneurs and businesses. Value relationships, whether it's with customers, partners, or influencers, relationships are the bedrock of business success. Invest time and effort in nurturing these connections. Think long-term. While short-term gains are tempting, a long-term vision ensures sustainability and growth. Make decisions that benefit the business in the long run. Prioritize ethics. In a world where reputation can make or break a business, maintaining ethical practices is paramount. It builds trust, loyalty, and brand credibility. The Jewish business mindset offers a treasure trove of wisdom for modern entrepreneurs and businesses. By understanding these principles and adapting them to contemporary challenges, businesses can chart a path to success that is not just financially rewarding but also socially responsible and sustainable.